Now let's talk about getting data, lot of data from a single web page. So if you look at this page, we have multiple quotes here. Every quote has an author and it has certain tags. So what we want to do is we want to go through all these on the single page and get everything as a separate item. So this is the objective for this lesson. So let's copy the URL and open the shell. Scrappy shell and the URL. So now let's start by trying the same selectors that we created. So these are the selectors that we created. So let's try this selector. So instead of get, I will say get all and it gives me all the authors. So let's try this selector and we get all the quotes. And finally, let's try this selector and get all the tags. Now we have a problem. We can probably find a way. In fact, in Python, it is very easy to merge this list with this list. But the tags, they are all around. There is no way to identify which tag belongs to which quote. The solution to this problem is go through each quote one by one. So it makes a good case for a for loop. So basically what we'll do is we'll go through each quote one by one. So first step first, let's identify the selector for individual quotes. Right click, inspect. And we can see that every quote is inside a div, which has a class quote. This is going to be our first selector. Let's go to the terminal. I'm going to control L to clear everything. And then response.css. And I need to use a dot because it's a class. Just press enter. And we can see that we have multiple selectors. So at this point, I'm not going to call get or get all method, but create a loop over this list of selectors. So let's store it somewhere in the local variable and let's store it. Let's check what is the type of quotes. Now, if you look at quotes, it actually contains all the quotes. And if you look at the type of quotes, it is a selector list. So the variable that we created here right now, quotes, this is a selector list. This means that we can run a loop over this list and create individual selectors. Let's say for quote in quotes. Now here we are going to use quote.css. I actually need to print it. So let's print this. And we can see that this time we get individual strings for all the authors. So let's do this for everything. But this time we will be storing them in a variable. So let's do it directly in the spider. Put it here. Create a for loop. I'll move it here. And let me move this yield also inside this loop. So instead of response.css, I need to change this. This dot CSS method actually works on selectors. So this here, we were running it on response. Now we are running on a selector list. So when this loop runs, this complete statement will be combined and we will get one item change the URL. So let's run our spider and see what we are getting. And now we can see that there are multiple quotes and in the final summary, we can see that item scrapped count is 10. Now if we output this to a JSON, let's call it all.json, we will have everything written inside the JSON file. So let's look at the JSON file, format it, and we can see that for every quote, we have one item and the tags are nested properly. 
right now i want you to go to this page so scrapit.home.blog i've created this website quickly for the purpose of exercise now what i want you to do is i want you to read this title the first paragraph author date these are the categories so i want you to do this for everything on this page header just the first paragraph and this is part of this so ignore it author date so this is actually category and this is tag so you can do this for all of them just go ahead take your time analyze so this is the category and here the tags are missing here we have category tags and here we have category but no tags so go ahead scrap it and we'll see what is the solution in the next video